G'day friends and welcome back to Bush Rats. Yeah, here by the dam with young Lee. Uh, today we are going yabbying. So it's the middle of winter, weather's quite cool, um, the water levels are quite high. And I've actually never been to this dam before, so it's a new one we're going to try out. She's quite large, um, but hopefully there's something in there. So we'll find out together. Um, either way, it's going to be a good time hanging out in the bush. So let's run through what we're going to use today. So today I've got a couple of opera house nets. Same old story, highly illegal in um, native sort of waterways. I think over east these aren't recommended either. Uh, but we're allowed to use these ones here. And I've got one old school sort of one here as well, the open top. Uh, so in each one we're going to run at least one of these Nolsey bait bombs. Check these out, made by Shannon Noel. We did another episode on them not too long ago. And we're going to stuff them with some old leftover chicken breast and chicken thighs. So. I found the chicken works the best, but if you've got a bait that you recommend, chuck a comment below and we might give that one a try next time. So let's bait up these uh, baskets and get them in the water. All right, all right, all right. All the nets are bagged and tagged ready to go out into the new dam that we've never tried out before so we could be on today and we could not be as well so I think I'm going to go one nice and close and just the whole way around the thing let's get a net out The old school one going out just here. She could do with a bigger, bigger rope, but. That'll do. Alright guys, so that's three nets out in this one dam. I've just noticed on the walk there's another little dam over there, so if we don't get anything in this one, I might chuck a net into that one. Uh, but in the meantime, I might have a coconut smoke and get the drone up, get some majestic shots. We'll check back with you in about 15, 20 minutes for an impatient pool. It's not really a coke, it's a mocha. It's too early for a coke. friends so it's been a good half an hour or so I've been quite patient on these ones been for a little bit of a wander there's another better looking dam it doesn't look as majestic but it looks more yabby spec so 
We'll check the nets if there's not much going on. We might migrate to the other dam. But let's check this first net. First net. Nothing. Not a good sign. I'll leave him out for the minute. We'll go check the other two and we'll make a decision from there. Net number two. Definitely needs a longer rope on it. Nothing as well. And number three. Not much either. So we'll um, load these back up and head to the other dam. Come on, let's go. Right, dam number two, doesn't look too bad. So that last dam we were at, that had more of a gravel, dirt kind of bottom on it. Whereas this one looks a little bit more like that sort of white clay that the Yabbies seem to like here in WA. So uh, hopefully there's something in there. There's only one way to find out. Let's get a line in. Net number one. Right out the front here, I reckon. Number three with a short rope. Right well, friends, so it's been a good 20 minutes. Time for a bit of an impatient pull. One lonely yabby. There we go. One itty bitty yabby. Like I said, it's only been 15, 20 minutes at the most. They're in there, so I think we'll just chuck them all back out. I might even pull some of this chicken out of these bait bombs, uh, just to get the aromas going for the little fellas. Um, yeah, one yabby, he's going back. Net number two, on the short rope. Nothing. Nothing in net number three either. So like I said, we're just gonna pull the chicken out of the bait bomb and see if that makes any difference. Put that straight on a crab hook. Back in, back in the water. All right, we're gonna let them soak for about half an hour and see if we can double our score from one to at least two. Just go chill out. All right, so that's 20 minutes. Let's see what we got. Come on, Yabby. That's better. Not the biggest haul by any means, but we got two, four, Six little yabbies in there. I don't know whether taking the chicken out of them bait bombs did the trick or just because it's been in for a bit longer. So that's about your winning size there. It's not too big, not too small, it's quite small. So I'll probably just pop these ones back, just obviously saying that this dam isn't um, a big producer, but it's good to check out new areas, it's good to find a new dam with some in there. So we'll obviously come back in a few months or so, so yabbies I think they breed three or four times a year um, so you never know within a year that could be 
full or a lot of people might know about this dam and it might be pretty empty. So we'll pop these dudes back and we'll check the other nets. Right, I might throw the net out one more time. Give it another 20 because I've got nowhere to be. Um, so we're not getting a feed, we're just out here having a bit of fun and checking out some dams. Net number two. Only two little yabbies, about the same size. Pop them back. Mate. Nothing. Definitely reckon this one needs a longer rope. Pop him back out. You got another 20. It was getting on in the day, friends. Um, in hindsight, all in all, I think I should have bought a fishing rod to check that other dam. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't bring one today. Uh, so, lesson learned. Um, and I actually came out with the intentions of getting a bit of a feed, maybe for a catch and cook or something. Um, but because we aren't really striking gold, I kind of thought, oh, that's 20 minutes, she's up. But yeah, I just thought, new dam, you know, don't know what's going to be happening. So, only caught a few little ones, so I thought better off to chuck them back in, let them breed, and then that way we can um, come back again one day and hopefully get a big feed out of this one. So these little yabby dams are a bit few and far between. A lot of them are um, more inland from where I am. Um, but it's good to have a couple to keep checking here and there. But let's check this net, talking about checking things. Feels heavy. Not really, but two little ones in there again. A couple of little bumbinos. We'll pop them back in. I think it's time to wrap it up and call that a day. Pack the nets up. There you go, buddy. Just a little wee tacker. One, back in the drink. Number two, back in. Whereas I'd chuck me chicken or bait, whatever you're using back in, feed them up. One down, two to go. Just one in that one there. One little green guy. It's good to know they're in there. Ah, nip me. Flexible dog. As Robbie would say, you bloody ripper. Grab him back on the way past. One more to go. I don't believe this net's done any damage today. Getting a few mod cons, a bit of a extended rope on that one. Feed them up. Be back again soon. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming along for the ride, doing a bit of exploring, checking out some new dams, getting a line in, and catching a couple of yabbies. So. Like I said, weren't too many big ones in this one, so we just put them all back, um, let the small ones breed up, so we can hopefully come back here in about six months or so, and there's something in here, so something worth eating. So if you've made it this far through the videos, guys, consider giving us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more action. We've got other Yavian videos, fishing, hunting, camping, shit, all the good stuff. So if you want your merch, 
bushrats.bigcartel.com. Uh, for more updates and stuff, check out our Instagram at bushrats. So we've got a lot more content on there that doesn't quite make it to the YouTube of daily shenanigans and activities, a little bit more fishing that doesn't get filmed and all that. But yeah, till next week, guys, I'll see you out on the tracks. Yo.